done this quickly. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Ugh. What's that smell? Oil? They were nothing. Don't get over time. We're finished here. Let's go.
I think we might be able to break this boulder. And people say I'm foolhardy. I'm serious. I think we can do it. Are we not demons? You have a point. hours. They were nothing. So it was tar we were smelling. Watch your step. You won't get out if you get stuck. You know what they say, falling off a rock only makes us stronger. I don't think that's quite how the saying goes. I'm going to jump. Don't fall and crack your skull. Hold stop! Move in! 
You're a fine swordsman. Not as far as I'm concerned. I still have a long way to go. What sort of demon are you? I, I'm a war demon. A war demon. Makes sense. And what about you? You're awfully peculiar, even for a demon. I'm a Therian. Therian? That's a new one for me. What sort of demon is that? A monster that feeds on foes to gain power. I don't know much beyond that. Hmm. Huh. A woman who devours her enemies. 
I bet your demon type is hag, am I right? What? Whoa, <laughs> you've got the death glares down at least. What sword style do you use? Who taught you? I'm self-taught. For being self-taught, you're really good. Your fundamentals are solid too. But then you suddenly throw out these kicks and all these other moves. It's really unusual. Like I said, it's my own style. And what about you, huh? What's with those two swords? You say that big one is your life, yet you never even draw it. It's best that I don't. Huh? Is that part of what you learned at House Hurangetsu? Yeah, we pay our debts. That's the foundation of everything we do. I don't get it. You better be ready. Come on, really? all my power. Maybe I overdid it.
You'll be rust on my blade. <laughs> Come on, really? You said you can't taste anything. How is your sense of smell? Why do you ask? Those two senses work together. You know, like how if you pinch your nose while you eat, the flavor goes away? If anything, I think my sense of smell has improved. What about you? All my senses are sharper now. Still, being able to smell but not taste... Hmm... You said Eutherians eat demons, right? Not what I'd call a pleasant diet. Look who's talking. What do you eat? I drink, mostly. Huh. <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasant either. Nonsense. There's nothing with more depth and variety. Every ingredient, every process alters the whole. The rich, complex flavor dancing across the tongue. The mellow aroma exhilarating the nose. Eh, but what would a child know of such things? Whatever. The only downside is, now that I'm a demon, the stuff goes to my head faster than before, too. Now that you're a demon, huh? Always ready to fight! <laughs> Unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. An exorcist. Did he slip and fall? No, he was thrown in!
found our murderer. More fools from Hellabees came hunting me down, did you? It seems that way. Until I have my revenge. Revenge? The bastards at the guild who tried to kill me! They want me to take the fall for their smuggling operation. Wait, are you saying the whole guild was involved? Of course. <laughs> you think a second rate sailor like me could pull off all that mischief by myself? I mean, sure, I was in on it. Helping them wasn't without its benefits. He has a point. It would take more than one person to dig that tunnel into the warehouse. Problem is, our extra-legal activities were a little too successful. The Abbey was bound to notice us at some point. And dead men tell no tales. So they blame it on you and kill you to cover it up. Looks like it's not going quite how they planned. How do you mean to get this revenge of yours? A raid on Helavis. I'll kill the lot of them. This, I swear. That would be suicide. Do you have any idea how many exorcists are around? They'll hunt me down no matter what I do. I just want the guild to pay for what they did to me. That's all I wanted. But I guess even that's not gonna work out. We'll take this back to town and tell him you're dead. That should be enough to satisfy the exorcists and get them to call off the search. But... why? I have my reasons. We need a boat fixed for starter. Plus, if you stir things up after I leave, I imagine it'll slow down anyone who's following me. If that's what you want, miss, I won't let you down. By the way, how on earth did you find out where I was hiding? Luck. And a solid hunch. The village I grew up in was the dullest, gloomiest place ever. I hated it so much I became a sailor first chance I could get. But look at me now. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't abandon my home. I see.
Is this really how you want to play it? Listen, I'm being hunted too. It's only a matter of time. I can't afford sympathy. We're lucky the snow has been white for the past few years. Why is that lucky? Snow is always white. Wrong. In Helavis, it isn't always. Depending on the direction of the wind and what the volcano is up to, volcanic ash can mix in with the snow and turn it gray. There's a volcano nearby? It's actually quite a ways up north, but it's the biggest volcano in all of Midgand. Mount Killaraus, it's called. And that's where we mine our flamestone. Actually, it's the only place you can mine the stuff. Hmm, Mount Killerhouse. That's got a nice ring to it. You ever seen a volcano, Velvet? No, and I'm not interested. This is Dial's tail. Did you... did you really kill him? We found him dead in the Lake of Tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like. But I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. Hey, Velvet. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? What are you talking about? You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. Come on, let's go! Th hey! You don't need to be so pushy. That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on! Thank 
And that's how it's done. Get it? I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. Eh, maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down.
Well, it looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can. But we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. Velvet, do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So, I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demon they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah. I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. It'd be faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. Oh, Imperian Inominat. Hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? You, your face! What happened to you? A demon got the better of me. I've been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... my poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. 
It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned Praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit! I merely boarded without permission! You! You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mogilu! Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him! There's word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. A witch. It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is on to us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Hell of Ease. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. Let's head to Dial's cave. <sighs> Sorry, Mogilu. Rest in peace. You'll be rushed on my blade! Pity or compassion from me.
Don't get overconfident. It's up to I'll cut down anyone in my way! Bo is ready to fight! Not even worth my time. You really go all out, don't you? What do you mean? Look, you're using Dial, threatening the guild, abandoning Mogilu. You see? I'm not abandoning her. She can take care of herself. Nothing stops you, does it? There's a lot I don't understand about Mogilu, but I know she won't be killed so easily. Besides, I'm sure she's already told the Abbey everything she knows about us. You're probably right. That means we need an ace up our sleeve, like a demon they believe to be dead. All right, one last good sharpening and I'll call this blade done. <sighs> Do your blades need sharpening too? I'd be happy to take care of it for you if you want. No thanks. I was taught never to leave my lifeline in the hands of another. Sure. Sounds like you found a good teacher. <sighs> I don't care if it's me who does it, as long as you're keeping them well maintained. Just in case you don't already know, after you sharpen your blades, you should rub them with clove oil and wipe them down with wool. Yeah, I know. 
I was taught that too. By the man who killed my brother. I'll end this quickly. Victory is ours. What are you two doing back here? Things didn't work out. We'll lend a hand with your raid. <laughs> Awfully presumptuous, aren't you? I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> you got me there. Ah, oh, gods. I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon. But are you sure? It's suicide, you know. Maybe not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city. Hmm. <laughs> then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse. No. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this, then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works? When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. Velvet? Hey, Velvet? Uh, Luffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I was... Oh, Luffy, it was terrible! Hey, come on, let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. <gasps> no, Luffy said! No! Listen to me! Artorius is! He's going to! <laughs> Are you all right? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. <laughs> We're ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sleep well? Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment anytime. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right then, we're off to attack Helavis. That reminds me. Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Helavis, I'd imagine. Since Malakim are always tethered to exorcists. That means we might run into him during our attack. Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But... But? I have to remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim don't suit your palate? I'll call that a positive. there oh I'm pretty sure you were expecting me not even worth my time The townspeople are gone. I was right. It's a trap. Credit for, demon lady. You're here. You're the demon that escaped the island? What if I am? You hurt my dear Oscar. You will pay for that. Slowly. Come and face me, that exorcist. I am honor bound to aid for more. A pair of demons should be simple for you. Blade next. You fiends! All exorcists, form up! 
I admire your endurance, but you will regret this soon enough. Number two. You can't finish your own work. Coward. I won't fall for your taunts. That arm of yours is too dangerous. Besides, to dispose of demon filth, one ought to use an appropriate tool. Well, I've got tools of my own. Tools of flamestone, sulfur, and oil. Those will explode. What? Our store is a flamestone! Rokuro! I'm with you! Hey! Aren't you forgetting someone? What are you all doing? After them! Lady Teresa! The ships! The port! It's all on fire! <laughs> Orderlies, put out the fires at once! Move it! We're ready to set sail! I won't let you escape! Never! I'm a demon. Spare me your sins, so you can pay with your life! I give you this order. Do it, number two. The kid's gonna blow himself up. To think you 
for a demon! The crybaby exorcist? I wasn't crying! Two praetors. Not looking good. Knock them back. That's an order. Knock them back, or I'll eat you. An order? <laughs> Why? Why would they do such a thing to us? We're finished! Helaviz is no more! Curse you. Curse you. Such ghastly demons. The Abbey, no. Lord Artorius himself must be informed. Well, that turned out better than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. Extra? <sighs> hmm. He looks like he'd be a scrumptious midday snack for you. A snack? She's just teasing. No. If that's an order, I accept it. Should we really be taking this kid along? His arts will be useful to us. And we can always get rid of him. Precisely. Malakim our tools. Use them and ditch them. Isn't that right, number two? Yes. <laughs> Now that was a right old conflagration. Don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon. You certainly didn't leave them much of a port, though. I wonder if the town will ever recover. How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Magilu's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel! I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. You seem busy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. Our destination is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. Besides, if we keep sailing this way... This is so hard to read. Actually, you're holding it wrong. It's built to function even if the ship is rolling. <sighs> Velvet! The heading's fine! Kid, what's your name? 
Number two. Not that. Your real name. Surely you have one. Wanna hold it? Uh, if that's an order... I'm asking you what you want. So you're ordering me to answer? <sighs> right, right. You Malakim would destroy yourselves as long as it was an order, wouldn't you? That is our purpose. You really are tools. In that case, keep your mouth shut. are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. It'll be me. A Moloch? No. I'm the Reaper. What is this guy? A Moloch pirate? Sword? Twin blades. No pendulum can ever shoot. Deception! Deception! Too slow! Over there! See this? Let's go! I'll set! See this? Let's go! I'll set! I'll set! Here it goes! I'll set! I'll set! Here it goes! Too slow! I'll set! Here it goes! 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 Test. Join us. Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress. If this is true, we're in your debt. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral if you like. So what, we're allowed to refuse? 
Your business is your business, and ours is ours. There's nothing more to say. But first mate, y you can't go alone. We'll all come with you. You'd only get in the way. Stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the Von Eltia. And what are you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're getting through that gate. If you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? If the first mate says he'll do it, he'll do it. You sure put a lot of faith in him. He's a Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone blocks our way, we can't just fall back. And that's what makes a pirate, huh? Tragically, your favorite witch is neither a sailor nor a warrior. All she can really do is look on. No argument there. Is the Gate of Vortigern really something that impressive, Dial? They've got a fortress and a patrolling fleet, but the Gate is the real show. Even a battleship couldn't blast its way through that thing. Is there no sea route that avoids the Narrows? There is, so to speak, but it's a long way out into the open sea. We just end up shipwrecked. <laughs> the pirates share our goal. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True enough! If forward lies destruction, and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option! And yet, you don't feel like helping out. I sure don't! That Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The kid's a Moloch too. Hey boy, you sense anything? Hmm. <sighs> we both have ulterior motives. In any case, let's go after him. I know you probably won't listen to me, but you shouldn't get involved with Ifrid's pirates. Ifrid is the fiercest, most villainous pirate in all the seas. Every sailor trembles at his name. 
For a demon, you're pretty wimpy. Demon or not, scary is scary. So this Eifried is that tough? You bet. Rumor has it he's an unrepentant troublemaker and is as strong as an ogre. His gang are all fearless, wild rogues. They've turned the tables on the Royal Navy time and time again. And best of all is their ship, the Von Eltia. She's a legend that's traveled to distant lands across the sea. Nice. Sounds like I'd get along with them just fine. You seem to know an awful lot about them yourself. Well, it's just that every sailor dreams of being as wild and free as Eifried and his pirate crew. I guess. Hey, I can dream, can't I? Demon or human or even lizard, we all got our fantasies. Thank you. 